Uh, first, uh, Michael, thank you for taking your time to talk about the movie. I loved it. I, it was a throwback to the 90s and 80s movies, action movies all those times. So I was like right down, up, right down, down, down my alley. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I think that's a really great description. It absolutely is a throwback to those films, for sure. Uh, I spoke to the director, and that's the first thing I said. It's just I absolutely love because it felt like a, you know, like nuts to Die Hard all over the place, and to all those action movies or those types that we don't see them that much anymore. Um, so you know, I, that's one of the first thing that, that that really caught my eye when I when I when I finished seeing. Let's talk about Enzo when I'm giving too much away because I don't want to ruin the surprise. You're already <laughs> laughing because you know what I'm talking about. Um, what can we say? What 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 what, what I mean you have to your resume speaks for yourself. What what was it about Enzo and, and this point that you said I have I have to do it? Mm. So um so first of all, just to give people a, a little bit of context, um, yeah. So I play a character Enzo. Uh, Kevin Dillon is the star of the film. You know, he plays a guy who is like he's got a checkered past, but he's fundamentally a good guy, right? And he's and he's he's trying to get it right. He's trying to like get his life in order and his and his and his family, take care of his family. He just he can't quite seem to put it all together. Enzo is the exact opposite. Uh he doesn't have a care in the world. He's like his ne'er do well, you know, co-worker and friend. He shows up late. He's like, you know, he's probably someone, he's like one of these guys that I'm sure, you know has a bunch of enablers in life who pick up the slack for him you know what i mean so um so i think as a result like kevin Dillon's character looks at him and is like man i he's almost living vicariously through him in a sense so i think that they sort of form this this interesting kind of bond because of that um you know because enzo's telling him about all of his you know escapades with women and you know what i mean it's just like he's just one of those he's just one of those guys we all know guys like that right um so definitely very different from me in real life, but it was a lot of, it's a lot of fun uh, to play characters like that, for sure. You, you just jumped back to my second question because I, I was scared to ask if Enzo had something in common with you, but you <laughs> said it yourself. It's, it's somebody that's completely different. It, it's an action movie. It's packed with action and, and stunts. And, and, and when you wrote the script and you, you saw what you had to do, were, were you expecting the twists and turns? Were you expecting, hey, this is fun? Yeah, well, you know, the, the director, James Bresick, who you talked to, uh, he, he's an old friend of mine. I, I've known him for years. I've worked with him a bunch of times. Um, he called and gave me the whole layout uh, before he, he sent the script. But he was like, you know, this is what I'm doing. This is your part. This is the movie. And I basically said, all right, I'm, I'm in. I mean, I like it's, it's this just sounds awesome what you're describing. Yes, I'll read the script as a formality, but like <laughs> based on everything you're saying, yeah. I, I'm, I'm completely sold. And you know, it's funny, you, you mentioned, you know, how, how this is kind of a throwback. You know, this is part of what's so fun about this movie is that, um, you know, Mel Gibson, who's in it, I mean, he really, he really came to play, man. Like you could tell some, sometimes it's hard, you know, it's funny with, with actors of that caliber, Sometimes it's it's a bit of a crapshoot. They may just show up and like not care and just you know do their thing, collect their paycheck, and go home. Mm -hmm. Mel came to play, um, and he he really like had fun with this. And and there were times when you know he was like uh, doing his thing, and I was watching the monitor with James, and we and we would look at each other and go like, "Is this Lethal Weapon?" Like I feel like we're making Lethal Weapon right now. <laughs> like, so. Um, I, I'm really glad that he uh, that he brought all that energy and that and that fun that I, that I think really gave the movie that feel that you're talking about. You mentioned Little Weapon, but it's, it, that's the thing. You see it from beginning to end, the whole 90s, 80s action film I, that people are going to just going to love, going to eat it up because, that, because of it. Um, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. I, I'm trying not to spoil the surprise and because it's rather difficult to do this type of interviews without spoiling the surprise. You, you mentioned talking, talking with, uh, working with Mel Gibson. Did he, did he, you know, the two of you in my book are, are veteran actors in my book, but did he give, did you learn anything new from him? Well, the, the thing that I, 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 that was interesting in, in watching him is like, I, and look, I mean, let's just be, let's be totally honest. You know, I mean, Mel's, he's up there in, in age at this point. Mm -hmm. So, you know, before the takes and, and you see, like he plays the, the bomb squad guy. So he's got like, he just, I mean, probably 50 pounds of, of, you know, armor on him and all this stuff. And he's like, he can like barely, you know, he could, he's like, he could barely walk his like ankle was messed up and you're going, man, how is this going to work? 
But somehow when you say action, he just he just turns it on and he just knows how to like turn on the movie star. You know what I'm saying? Like it's hard to explain, but like, and it's amazing to watch. Like there's something about once the once the lights are on and the cameras start rolling, like a true professional knows just how to bring it, you know? So that so um I don't know that I necessarily learned well, I guess what I learned is like, boy, you can you can develop your instinct uh to a point where it it really doesn't matter what obstacles are in your way uh like some way somehow you're going to find a way to to perform and it's really it's 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 inspiring to watch i ask that because i think working with you can always learn something from mel and because of how huge he is and you just said to yourself how much how giving he is also and if anybody that has worked with him in the past he has done a bunch of movies here in puerto rico so i know mm-hmm. for a fact how he how he works um yeah. i want to put you in the hot seat now and let's switch places Jorlando, Kevin is Enzo. How would you go about dealing with the whole situation? Oof. Um, well, first of all, let me just say, if if that were me in real life, um, I would just immediately go into the fetal position and just start crying uh, because I that's not that's not for me. I you know actors are actors because we don't want to actually be <laughs> heroes in real life uh but it's fun to pretend. <laughs> um but i think uh you know enzo well it's it's interesting because enzo like as much as he uh lives in in kind of a carefree way i actually do think he's a really smart and and capable guy um i, I mean i think but all, all the characters in this movie are, are very intelligent um so You know, I think, um, boy, I, I, I think that somehow, like we were just talking about with Mel, um, he would, he would find a way to, uh, you know, to, to, to deal with the situation, you know, probably not as good as Kevin does because Kevin's character does a, he does a hell of a job in this movie. Um, or I could be wrong or it could be the exact opposite. And, and Enzo could just, um, completely freak out and poop his pants and, and, and just try to run away and be blown up immediately. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's, I, I it's had to put you on the hot seat. Sorry. I had, I had that question right no, there. Right. I, I was, I had, I was going to do it. I was going to, I'm going to switch places. Um, one final question before I let you go. People are going to love it because of the action, because of the nineties vibe and the, you know, that action vibe that we missed. I think that I, I always tend to say that we, I miss, I mean, 100, you know, 90 movies, uh, 90 minute movies. This is a perfect example of a perfect 90 minute movie. What would you want? What do you want people to take away from the story once they see a bit? So be, uh, aside from having fun. Right. Yeah. So I think that, um, well, part of, you know, it, it, part of, I think the challenge that we're having with this interview is because there are so many twists and turns along the way. Uh, the, and you don't want to give anything away because it's such a fun ride. You know what I'm saying? It's about so, the journey. The journey is so good. It's the journey, yeah. So I, I'm hoping the thing that people take away more than anything else is I, I just, I just hope that they totally buy in and and are brought along on this journey. And I hope they don't see anything coming. Uh, and you know, more than anything else, I, you know, I just hope that they. Um, that they have a lot of fun and, and really enjoy the experience. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a satisfying experience because like, first of all, all the actors in the movie are so great. He, he, they put together such a great cast, um, you know, not just Mel and Kevin, but like Eddie Steeples is fantastic. And then um, uh, uh, Shannon Doherty is in the movie and Sam Ashkari and Anna. Hart. I mean, it's just this, like, it's this all-star cast and, and James, our director is, is really, I, I consider him, a maestro as a filmmaker. I mean, he really like, because think about, you know, this movie primarily takes place in, you know, a few different locations, but like, it, it's pretty contained. So the fact that he was able to keep it interesting and keep it moving uh, with, with, you know, some pretty heavy restrictions just in terms of the story, um, I think is a real testament to him. So it's kind of a long-winded answer, but really I just hope people go along with the journey and, and have a good time, which I, I really think they will. It's the journey. That's what I said. I told James, this is the journey. People just got to watch it because of the journey and have fun and enjoy it. And it's a throwback to, yeah. you know, uh, those good movies from the 90s 
uh, 97, 98. Those, those were the years in my book. I mean, nothing wrong with two years today, but it, those were the years when you have to do good cinema. So Michael, thank you once again for your time and congratulations, I absolutely love it. But anybody did and, and what you guys did, amazing. Awesome, thank you so much, man. I really, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, yeah, great interview, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>